Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to math class. So we are uh, just chugging along with our equations chapter. Today we're going to be doing our multiplication and division equations. So as a reminder, these are our inverse operations that we talked about last week. So uh, uh, multiplication, the inverse is divide. The, the inverse operation of divide is to multiply. So let's go ahead and read this a little bit over here. We are on page 224, so make sure you have that open. Isolate the variable on one side of the equal sign using the inverse operation. An equation is much like a balanced scale. When you perform an operation on the left, then you must perform the same on the right. So like a scale, if you multiply on one side, on, the one, on one side of the equal sign, then you also have to multiply on the other side of the equal sign. All right, so let's go ahead and put this into practice. Exercises, solve, check the solution. So again, we're, I'm going to be doing the odd numbers and you're going to be completing the even numbers. For practice, gonna, practice and application, I'm actually going to be doing a few of them. And yeah, let's go ahead and get started. And divided by 7 equals 63. Well, the inverse operation of divide by 7 is multiply by 7. So we're going to multiply. So remember the parentheses is another uh, way to say that you're multiplying. So 7 cancels each other out, and we are left with n equals 441. Now let's go ahead and check. To check, we're just going to substitute our variable n with 441. 441 divided by 7 is indeed 63. Yes, so our answer is correct. Number three, two-thirds, so look here, two-thirds times x equals 15. Now we're doing, we're going to be doing the inverse operation of times, which is divide. Remember, it's not divide x, it's divide by two-thirds. So we're going to divide the whole thing by two-thirds. So these cancel out. We are left with x equals 15 divided by 2 thirds, correct? So remember when we're dividing by fraction, we have to make this into a fraction as well. And then we're just going to be doing, we're just going to multiply the reciprocal. So the reciprocal of 2 thirds is 3 over 2, good. And since we're multiplying by the reciprocal, 15 times 3 is 45. And 1 times 2 is 2. Now this is and in proper fractions, we got to change this into a mixed number. And we do that by dividing so many steps, right? So I went ahead, I went ahead and did that. So we have a remainder, our remainder is 1. So the answer is going to be 22 and a half. Now let's go ahead and check. So we're going to do 2 thirds times 22 and a half to see what we get. Applying by the improper fraction form. Okay, because it's the same. And... After a long time, we finally discovered that yes, that is the correct answer. So I know sometimes it might be frustrating that you have to check and everything like that, but it's got to do it, right? Number five, m over four equals three. So remember the fraction sign means to divide. The inverse operation of divide by 4 is multiply by 4. So this time we are going to multiply both sides of the equal sign by, by 4. So this is easier. The 4 cancels each other out. 3 times 4 is 12. So m equals 12. Let's go ahead and check. 12 divided by 4 is indeed 3. So m equals 12. Number 7 x divided by 9 equals 18 so the inverse of divided by 9 is times 9 so multiply both sides by 9 9 cancels each other out x equals 18 times 9 which is 162 
And to check, 162 divided by 9. And yes, we can safely say it does equal 18. So our answer is correct. Okay, I'm going to clear up the space a little bit. So if you need to write it down, please pause here. Just getting a little messy. <laughs> Number nine. X divided by 8 equals 14.5. So the inverse operation of divided by 8 is times 8. So we're going to multiply both sides by 8. So we're going to be doing some multiplication with decimals. Okay. All right, one decimal point. So our answer is 116. To check, let's do 116 divided by eight. So let's do it here, because it's better, it's a bigger space for us. Okay. Times eight, 32. Remainder 4, so that makes that brings it to 14 and 4 eighths. And 4 eighths simplified is 14 and a half, which is the same thing as 14.5. All right, we did it. All right, guys, I'm going to clear up the board again a little so you can pause here if you need to write anything down, okay? 4 times c equals 32, the inverse operation of times 4 is divided by 4. So we're going to divide the whole thing by 4. 4 cancels each other out. C equals 32 divided by 4 is 8. To check, we're going to do 4 times 8 is... Yup, 32. Correct. All right, let's go on to our next section. Write an equation for the sentence. Solve the equation using the inverse operation and then check the solution. Ooh, okay. Now, let's take it step by step. First, let's write the equation for the sentence. The quotient of a number divided by 12 is 3. So quotient, remember, is the answer to a division problem. So a number divided by 12. N will do for the variable. A number divided by 12 is 3. Okay, we got the equation. Now let's solve it using the inverse operation. The inverse operation of divided by 12 is times 12. So we're going to multiply both sides by 12 which cancels out the 12 on that side. So that's n equals 3 times 12, which is, great, 36. Now we're going to check the solution. So let's go ahead and do 36 divided by 12, which is, is it 3, guys? Were we right? Yes, we were. Okay. 15, a number divided by 5 equals 11. So number, again, that's the variable. Number divided by 5 equals 11. We're going to do the inverse operation. So the inverse of divided by 5 is multiplied by 5. So we're going to do that on both sides of the scale. The 5 cancels each other out here. So that's n equals 11 times 5, which is 55. To check, we're going to do this. We have to substitute the n with 55. 55 divided by 5, is it 11? Yup, we were right. So that is our answer. 17, the quotient, same word again, of y and 7 equals 2. So that's a division problem. y divided by 7 equals 2. The inverse operation of divided by 7 is what? Times 7, good. Both sides. Okay, the 7 cancels each other out here, so that's y equals 2 times 7, which is 14. To check, we're going to substitute the y with 14. 14 divided by 7 is 2. We're good at this. 19. Twice the number is 18. If this is twice the number, it means to multiply by 2, okay? So we're going to do twice, so 2n equals 18. Now, we have to do the inverse operation. Inverse operation of times 2 is divided by 2. So divide the whole thing by 2. The 2 cancels each other out. 18 divided by 2 is 9. Let's go ahead and check. 2 times n. 2 times 9 is 
18. Great. So n equals 9 indeed. Phew! It was, it was just like a few problems, but it felt like a long time, right? All right, let's go ahead to our tables. Complete the table. So this is an in and out table, so we're going to be inputting our x's into this equation to solve the answer, to find the answer. Okay, so number 21. The equation is 2x plus 3. If x equals 11, this would be our equation, right? 2 times 11 is 22. 22 plus 3 is 25. Great. Next, if x is 13, this would be the equation. 2 times 13 is 26 plus 3 is 29. Now, if our x was 15, this would be our new equation. 2 times 15 is 30. 30 plus 3, boys and girls, is great. Last one. This would be our new equation. 2 times 17 is 34. Plus 3 is 37. Great. Now, let's try number 23. This time it's just 4 times x, okay? So let's just go ahead and do that. So if x was 25, what's 25 times 4? 5 times 4 is 20 times 2 plus 10. 4 times 2 plus 2. <laughs> just at the answer. 100. Same pattern. Now, 35 times 2. I mean 4. 5 times 4, 20. 4 times 3, 12 plus 2. 140. If x was 45, then we would be doing 45 times 4. 5 times 4, 20, 16, 18. All right, last one. If x was 55, 55 times 4, 220. Great. All right, guys, I'm going to stop here for a sec and make a part two video for page 225, okay? So I will see you in a few seconds. Bye.